Dog, stop. Stop it. Okay, Brandon. In the last video, I showed you how to go to the sewers and get Madman's Knowledge, which is an item I don't have right now, so I can't show you what it looks like. It's the skull thingy. If you use it, you get uh, Insight, which is the, the number two up there next to the eyeball. And Insight is good because it's also bad. It makes, it makes the game harder, but you can use it to uh, buy certain items uh, and also it wakes up the doll which is right here and you talk to her and you can channel the blood echoes that you have to level up so that's good I don't know what this is wait no go go away accept accept gift from mess and consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to oh yeah it also lets you summon buddies to help you out so once you get that I can come help you play the game also, yeah, there's items and shit. And then this thing lets, lets you summon NPCs to help you with bosses and stuff. So that's great. That's a lot of fun. But let's level up. Welcome home. What is it? Very well, then. Are you having fun yet, Brandon? This video is for you. So your vitality is important. Your endurance is like how much shit you can do before you run out of endurance. This character is using strength, so I think I don't have enough to level up. Let's go get some more blood echoes. Actually, no, let's not do that. There's these items that are good. Called cold blood dew and cold whatever. They just start, it's like a way to keep blood echoes so if you die, you don't lose them all, you can use these things. Yay, it's a thousand. I got five of these. That was a lot. Welcome. What is it? I desire things. Very well. Let me... Let's pump up strength and vitality. So now we have more health and we do more damage. Shit. I'm gonna go through like this first run area, which is really annoying when you first play the game, but once you get it down, it's like, oh, this is simple and a good way to get items and stuff. Oh, yeah. There's dogs. So this dude's facing the other way which makes him a good target to practice visceral attacks, which goes like this. Oh, I fucked it up. Well, I don't know. Spin to win. I missed. Spin to win. This dude always drops four bullets. He's good to kill. There's two dudes upstairs, both behind boxes. Here's one of them. And then there's this dude. That spinny attack is basically game breaking early on, so do it all the time and never do anything else. Alright, so over here, there's two of those werewolf things. Don't bother with them, like, ever. I mean, later on, when you're, like, higher level. But it's just not worth it. They drop some, like, uh, blood vials for health or whatever, but the two at once is stupid. And this way is a big ogre and a bunch of birds, and right past him is the first boss, which is another way you can get insight when you encounter him. It gives you insight so you can level up and stuff like that. I actually don't like the first boss because for some reason he's like not hard, it's just the camera's wonky and I always die, but I don't know. 
You can also skip it if you want to. He's not. He's optional. Um, I forgot what I was going to do. No, let's go this way. So I think in the other video I showed you how to open these doors, which are helpful. <coughs> That's that same spot. Free blood echoes. There's a dog. Come at me, dog. Dogs are annoying because they're fast. And that didn't work. <laughs> Damn it. Free blood echo. Oh yeah, and talk to this lady. She's a bitch. Later you can save her or whatever and send her to a place that's safe. Or a place that's dangerous and she gets turned into a space alien. Spoilers! Always roll through barrels. This is a, a cool person. <coughs> you talk to her. What are you she has like a whole quest line. If you want, you can kill her. It's really hard, but you can kill her, and, and she drops. Or she lets you. She drops a thing that lets you buy her like dagger things, which is pretty awesome. Uh, if you're a skills build character, uh, they're fast, but they don't do a whole lot of damage. They're like real fast. Um, that dude shot me. Uh, uh, jump down someplace. I'm gonna land on this thing. That didn't work. Okay, kill, kill this dude. This guy. Stuff. I was gonna go the opposite way and show you. Uh, this is bad. I'm. Uh, let me start over. In a minute. Uh, kill that dude. Spear. So that's a different weapon you can use, and it's good, and it does stuff. Scales pretty well with skill. I'm actually gonna equip that. It's a little bit faster. And it turns into this thing. Just, just loads of fun for the entire family. So this is sewers. This area's kind of shitty, but you gotta go, go through it. I don't know why every video game has a sewer level and why it sucks. Actually, this one's not bad. It's relatively short. Okay, let's do this. Got this ladder here. There's a whole bunch of dudes right here that kill you, so grab that and run. There's no reason to ever fight them. They're actually not that hard, there's just a lot of them. Guy. All right, here's a fun thing. This is a giant pig. Actually, yeah. Oh shit! I just, I just put my weapon away. Oh god! Man, I can't switch weapons. So 
how you do that. I don't remember what the Saw Hunter badge does. I think it lets you buy all the free starting weapons from the little dudes. Oh yeah, here's a hole that if you jump down it kills you. Uh, so don't do that. I'm trying to figure out whether there's an armor set in the sewer. I don't remember exactly where, but we're, we're gonna go find it, I guess. And it's actually one of the best armor sets you can get like, in the game. The armor looks weird. Is this helping you, Brandon? Do you feel like a better person? I miss you, Brandon. Oh, wait, check this part out. Okay, so you go up the stairs and like, oh no, there's a bunch of dudes or whatever. Oh, they're coming at me. I better run away. Because, I, I don't know. I know I'm just going to stand here. Look, they all just stop for no reason. And they die. It's pretty great. It's a pretty great thing. elevator so that you can get here faster and skip the sewer shit. Just get on it. So like for a refresher, this is that elevator that's past these two ugly dudes. Ooh. back here where the house is and up these steps to the right is the land. So this once you get this gate open and you get that elevator that's pretty much the quick way to the second boss who's technically also the first boss but he's, he's also the, the, the first boss you actually have to beat to progress the game. And whatever. Everything's hard and that guy just goes second boss is and then I'm going to stop the thing and show you how to get through that first area because I'm doing everything backwards. <laughs> That didn't even make sense. Like, the attack is broken. It just kills guys and throws them, like, far. Okay. This one, here, here's how you do a visceral attack. This is how you do it. Alright. So you wind up, hit him from behind, stuns him. Yeah! Yeah! <coughs> that guy's gonna kill me! It's good to kill dudes in this game. Alright, so right up here, this is the second boss. I'm not gonna go in there right now, but this is where you find them. That's that for now. 